Chair. Senator, if we can, let's talk about the third grade reading uh, guarantee here mm -hmm. uh, in the last few minutes that we sure. have together. I mean, this has been controversial. So first, is it working? I think it is working, and I'll tell you why. Every day I hear about schools that are making changes to what they're doing in the primary grades. We see schools across the state adding preschool programs, which are critical as far as I'm concerned to the success of the third grade reading guarantee. They're adding summer school programs to help with the summer slide. They're adding new uh, intervention services. They're bringing online services on, on, on board. Our schools of education are beefing up the classes that they're teaching prospective teachers but what happens, how to read. Right, but what happens if you've got half your third graders then who are not meeting the cut? Is the state prepared for a scenario like um, that? Well, I'm not sure the state is prepared. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure our schools are prepared, but it's going to happen. And, and it's going to be a tough year. You I mean, one of my biggest concerns mm -hmm. is that we don't have the political will to stick with this, mm -hmm. because I think we, we absolutely have to. I was talking kids. to some um, very involved community-minded women this week mm -hmm. and mentioned the third grade reading guarantee and the opportunities to volunteer to help these children mm -hmm. catch That's up. That's happening mean, all over the place. I was going to say, are you starting to see people oh, yeah. and hear from people who yeah. want to come into the schools to help? We are seeing whole communities getting behind this effort. Like I know in Dayton we have the Learn to Earn initiative. In Cincinnati it's called Strive. There's one here in Columbus as well. I can't think of the name of it. That our whole communities, the business community, everyone, churches, getting behind this initiative to make sure our kids are reading. Senator, we're, just, we're out of time, but I just want to confirm, I think we made a little news this morning. I, ju I just want to make sure that I heard you right. There is a certain expectation then that there will be a percentage of schools that don't hit that third grade um, guarantee and that it's likely that the debate then will be whether we should continue it or not. Mm -hmm. I think that's inevitable. It's easy to think of it in intellectual terms, but it, when it's your kid or your school that suddenly has 20, 30 percent of their class being held back, the reality of that is going to hurt and some people are going to say oh, we need to undo this but there is nothing more critical to the future of our children than that they know how to read and uh, at by third grade because after third grade we quit teaching reading mm. all right state senator peggy Lerner, okay. thank you for coming in this thank morning thank you